So in this video, I'm going to once again go back to the color and light, and I'm going to keep those in mind. I'm kind of just adding these things here so I have a little detail to show you exactly what I'm doing with color. Um, but let's go ahead and choose something. Hmm, what do I like to paint with? I think today I'm just going to paint with the captured bristle too. And uh, one thing I'm going to do with this is start with a different layer. And the reason is, is because if I don't like what I paint, I can always go back to that original layer. So for example, if I hate this, all right, if I just decide this wasn't the color I wanted, I ruined my drawing. I love that drawing so much. Go ahead and either turn it off and see what it looks like or make that decision and delete it altogether. But I'm going to go ahead and use my paint and I'm going to kind of put in my darks. All right. And this is a sphere. So there's nothing really complicated about this, uh, which is kind of great because I don't have to think a lot while talking. All right. But I have these little ridges here. All right. And um, one thing about painting in painter is this is one technique is to kind of freehand it um, or you know, kind of be more of a traditionalist about it. The other way, the other way that people paint, including myself, is making a selection. And this can become very, very useful if you like a nice, clean edge. And what I'm doing is I'm just holding shift so that it's a plus. I kind of just have made that a habit because that way, oh, excuse me, um, if I make a selection like this, and if I want to add to it, I'm just going to hold shift and it's going to add to that selection. All right. So that's pretty important. All right. And I'm going to make all of these spots dark. And this right here, oh, and it's uh it's hold alt or command to minus, you know, uh, you know, take away from your selection. But this is kind of a different technique of painting you see, where, you know, instead of painting our shapes in software, uh, in Painter, we um, can make selections. And this is pretty typical across all painting software. But in Painter, it's nice because in that selection, I can take that organic brush that I really like, and I can paint in those selections. All right, so it's my turn my opacity up so it's more obvious. Um, if you if these little lines get kind of annoying, one thing you can go up to is select and hide marquee. And as you can see, I can't see it, but it's still selected. And that kind of gains some clarity over some maybe critical painting decisions you might have in the process of doing this. You can also take your selection and invert it. And I'm going to go ahead and add some of the, the brights. Because if you can see my, my marquee here, that uh, I actually have the exact opposite of what I had selected. selected. So now, when I paint, it's going to be on the opposite side. But again, I'm going to go ahead and hide that. I usually do. And this is, again, a different option to paint that's a little different than freehand you know, kind of good. Uh, it does have its downsides to it. It can be pretty limiting. Um, you know, you have to kind of have a simple mind to um, make these selections and you have to really simplify things sometimes. So those are the two ways you can paint and um, add to your painting. And, uh, you know, there's all different kinds of selections. This is just a kind of a light. And, um, but if this were a portrait, it would be, you know, this would be the shading of the nose. This would be his hair or his ears. Um, it could be anything that you want it to. It can be a piece of clothing, his tie. Uh, it's good to have a selection to um, kind of keep in. Uh, uh, to add to that, if you actually really like what you have painted right here on a particular layer, you can actually hit preserve transparency and also only paint on that one. So that, um, to me, is the basic ways to paint in Painter with your favorite organic brushes. 
Um, again, you know, you can do this in kind of any art software. The difference is, is your favorite brushes and painter. Uh, that's why I kind of keep emphasizing on them. So I hope this shows you a couple of the different ways that you can paint that are pretty common and that you can implement those into your own work. Thank you.